Where does your water come from? What does it mean to have equitable access? What does it mean to have park space and open space in your community? These are public lands. They don't belong to communities at the foothill per se, but they're yours too. One of our biggest open spaces in LA County, which is, um, you know, the San Gabriel Mountains makes up two thirds of LA County's open space and just brings opportunity for so many people. Nature for All is both a nonprofit and a coalition that uh, works to build a diverse space of support to ensure that everyone in the LA area, no matter where they live, has equitable access to the wide range of benefits uh, that nature can provide. Over 50% of residents in LA live over half of a mile from a park. So over half of LA is considered park poor, meaning they do not have access to a park, they do not have parks in their community, or the parks that they have in their community are not serving their need. That having access to green space specifically within half a mile, right, of walking distance from your home, um, we know that that is correlated positively with many, um, many really good indicators of both public and personal health, especially those Families that really um, live in the older, more densely filled apartments are affected by a lack of access to green space, but specifically for um, children and elderly and folks that have compromised health. The San Gabriel Mountains, even though it's only a 60, 90 minute drive for a lot of us, uh, is difficult to reach because there are many barriers. For example, time. A lot of our communities living in the urban areas sometimes have to work two to three jobs to make ends meet. Resources, uh, sometimes transportation is a barrier. I feel like a lot of the people in my community don't really travel outside of that area too much, just for like work and stuff like that. Um, I don't think a lot of them know that this is accessible to them. I mean, for me, it's just the drive, like the traffic's pretty brutal. But like before, my brother lived in NoHo and I mean, I know, you know, there's not a lot of green space there and stuff like that. So I can see it definitely gets hard for, for certain people. This is our most urban national forest in the country uh, with 17 million people in a 90 minute drive. Uh, you know, that's one in 20 Americans. Yet there's not a single way to take a bus up here. So that's why we have a really exciting vision. It's called the LA San Gabriel Mountains Urban Shuttle System. Uh, we've been working with a lot of partners on this for a number of years and we have two big routes that we really want to see happen. It's the Mount Wilson Express and the San Gabriel Canyon Express. And our idea is that since the Metro Gold Line comes so close to the foothills already and there's that public investment, we just need to bridge that gap between public transportation and public lands so that people can start to understand that we have wildlife and also get their kids out to see these amazing things. Part of our Nature for All Leadership Development Program, we teach folks about parks, public lands, and water, you know, where it comes from, why we protect these areas, and especially how we can connect urban folks to nature. And what we hope to do is really inspire our community members to join us and start taking action in their community, to create new green spaces in their park poor areas. We're really excited to not only expose folks through these type of day hikes that uh, are aligned with our training, but also to be able to plan organized trips where you know a student or a family member can bring their family along. We primarily work on policies and programs that protect our local mountains, rivers, and parks, uh, create new opportunities like bike paths and uh, open green spaces in underserved communities, and connect these communities to our green open spaces. For us here in Los Angeles, our San Gabriel Mountains are really significant, um, not just for um, the animals and 
uh, that live there but also for the people that live surrounding it and so the national monument is basically extra protections on our local forest um, it shows that it is of value to the community or you know something that we want to see protected for generations to come in 2014 president obama came down and designated it as a national monument only two-thirds were protected in the National Monument designation. We would like to see the whole forest protected. So we're working with our current legislators to expand the monument to include the rest of the forest. Now we want to go up to another level of protection, which is currently the, known as the Public Lands Act. And we're hoping to pass it because it will further protect these beautiful spaces. But in addition, our goal is that it creates a national recreational area so that we can do bike rides, so that we can picnic there with our friends, hike locally, and makes it possible uh, for local urban communities that may not be able to make the trip out here every so often. For the future, I hope Nature for All achieves all its goals of getting the designation expansion, uh, wild and scenic river. My dream is to see folks uh, with backpacks and um, like mountain bikes on the bike or just all different types of recreation users on the bus on their way up into the mountains. Yeah, I think just my dream is to see more and everyone eventually having access and being able to go to the mountains for free. I used to work as a park designer and I really loved doing that work because I thought I was helping the community create new green spaces and when we opened up this park in Duarte that we're doing on this tour I was really shocked because I was following a school teacher and a bunch of kids and that teacher was telling kids left and right hey don't touch those plants like there might be bugs there might be thorns don't go in that area and I was like oh my god you know my boss spent all this time she designed these beautiful rock stepping stones and all these places for kids to play and it was very evident that this adult already lost that connection and wasn't passing it on to the kids and so that is nature deficit disorder right there um, and it honestly helped me realize I need to be that bridge to folks to make sure that we're sharing all this with the next generation um, so that's why I do this.